Luffy, ambition, king of the rappers. What's the up, mission. gang? It's Marauder Music with three piece TCG, Big Beard TCG, and 2D. I'm coming at you with the Delphi Del Flamingo, man. That's right. Running a muck in the east right now. <clears throat> you can tell I slept with the fan on. Um, big benefactor from the starter decks that have been releasing, which I'm really excited to get my hands on, especially because they're even coming out before OP09. So that's like a little little flavor saver for us, right? Uh, anyways, before we get into this one though, uh, do remember to fucking mm, smash that like button. Uh, subscribe and comment down below what am I doing right what am I doing wrong and what would you be doing differently I'm trying to get that conversation going steel sharpening steel if you will uh, also if you if you just listen and we're quiet ever so slightly you can hear me rapping in the background that's right been rapping I uh, made the beats and I do the engineering yeah I do everything I, I couldn't even remember what I was called uh, give me a Look your boy up. Look your boy up. Follow the link in the description. I am. If if rap was a meritocracy, I would have me some cereals based on the skill. But anyhow, let's get into the deck profile with the Don Quixote Do Flamingo. So uh, for those who are new to the game or new to him, right? Because I got in at 03 and I never played him. Never played with this. Never touched this card in real life, right? Um, I like to say he's kind of like gecko moria with a perfect swing because where gecko you attach one dawn and then you pay two dawn for his ability to swing six right with this guy you attach two dawn then when attacking you pay one dawn so you're swinging that magic number seven which causes people to have to come out of two cards if they want to uh counter so magic numbers look up uh uni tcg look up cross ai they they went into that uh, great videos anyhow um <clears throat> So Don Quixote, Do Flamingo, Don 2, when attacking, 1 Don, you know, turn 1 Don sideways, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a 7 Warlords of the Sea type character card with a cost of 4 or less, you may play that card rested. If you haven't noticed, every card here, is that a 7? God bless. Every card, with the exception of, we got her to fuck around. But all these 4 Lords, <laughs> 4 Lords, all these 4 cost cards are that, dog. And uh, we got cards to set up the the deck. Uh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's just so understand that that's the agenda, right? Now let's get into the deck profile. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Perona. Perona is who you want to see on your turn one if you can. Uh, not the end of the world, but who you want to see in turn one on play. Look at the top five cards of your deck and place them at the top or bottom of your deck in any order. Okay. So that's how we are achieving. Because you're like, okay, well, how do we achieve that? Just sheer uh, numbers, uh, like um, basically like how yellow stacks their life, right? Well, we just we just got to hope we see it in trigger by chance. Nah, dog, you are setting it up. And then we also have another card that sets it up. We got Don Quixote, Do Flamingo, Blocker, three for four. Uh, we don't have to worry about, we don't have to talk about law anymore, right? Because he's getting banned. So we don't have to talk about the fact that, yeah, he has to lower him before he bottom decks him. Anyhow, blocker, which is great. And then also look at the top five cards of your deck and return them to the top or bottom of the deck in any order. Magnifique. Uh, we got another card in Boa Hancock who is playable. We'll get into that. Uh, look at the top three cards of your deck, then place them in any order, top or bottom of your deck, then give up to one of your seven Warlords of the Sea type characters, uh, one Rest of Dawn. Absolutely insane, because she can help you cheat out your ability, uh, she can just give some push somebody over, uh, just a lot, okay? Then we got another card. Some decks don't believe in this one. I personally do. If we take a gander over here, I don't think they're running him. Uh, they're running like one, four, eight, nine events. I feel like it's a little event heavy, but I'm not, you know, whatever. Anyways, we got my man Marshall D. Teach. Actually, he's not my man. I fucking hate this guy. Fuck that guy. Uh, activate main once per turn. Place one card from your hand at the top of your deck. Attach up to two Rested Dawn to one of your leader or characters. Again, this card on your second turn is helping you cheat out your ability. So if I'm going first and I got three Dawn, you know, my three Dawn turn, I play him. I attach two Rested Dawn to my leader. 
uh, I put the top card, place one card from my hand to the top of my deck, and I'm running the whole, I'm getting the whole shebang out immediately, because I could do that, then I can play him, then bing, boom, we'll get into that. So, very pivotal card. Uh, nobody's running any of them, so I'm running two of them, just to see why he sucks. Uh, okay, and then we also have a Searcher. Uh, look at the top five cards of your deck. Reveal up to one card with seven Warlords, the C-type. Add it to your hand. Then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. That's that's just it. Just just typical Searcher. Okay, now you notice I'm bouncing around because each card kind of fucks with one another. But we could take it back to the four drops. Um, Edward Weevil, okay? Four for six, no counter, but four for six on play draw card. So he's somebody you want to cheat out because he's going to draw you another card. Okay, um, <laughs> we are all over the place. This is this is a deck profile brought to you by OCD and more importantly in this case ADHD. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't talked to you about what I ate last night. Uh, anyhow, Kaido. Some people run one, some people run none, some people run four. I'm running two. I see the place, I see the world where we go into the late game, we play Kaido, we're big hooping, we draw four cards, they're gonna have three live, they're gonna have less than three live by the time we get to Kaido, so, uh, I believe in this card, I wanna see this card, and I, yes, I, so I say, let's do two, because I wanna see him at some point in the game, let's do two, um, if you guarantee, that's when you start running three. If you want to see him in your opening hand, you know, that's when you start running for. So, do with that what you will. Uh, pudding. Pudding is another card that I don't think I absolutely need to see. But when you're running blue, why not run two? Man, I've been coming at y'all with bars, dog. When you're running two, why not run two? Running blue, why not run two? Because Black Yellow Luffy crumbles. Uh, any any black deck that likes to anybody and anybody that likes to stack that deck they crumble when they have to put back their 10 cards and draw five like crumble I barely survived uh, Carnage's Raid you uh, and that was only because I already put my trash up when I was black yellow Luffy but anyhow that's the other thing too you want a player at a certain time there's you want you once you get to certain stages in the game she you don't want to play her anymore anyhow so that's that uh, now we're going over here to a crocodile, four for five, um, 2K counter, okay, on play, uh, rest one dawn, return up to two, one, two cost or lower character to the owner's hand. I don't know why we would be doing that unless maybe we're doing that to look at the top three cards and then we put them back. Oh, yeah, ab absolutely, yeah. But then we, then we put him back in our hand and now we got a 2K in our hand after we get to fix our deck. You see how this kind of works? So that's his ability. Mainly want him to be a 2K. Swing with him if we have to. All right. So now we're getting into Jinbei. Now, Jinbei is probably the MVP blue card from 07. He's probably the most pivotal blue card printed in a long time. Um, I can't hype him up enough. You know, I don't give a fuck. I'm overhyped. No, you can't overhype this guy. Why? Because he's 4 for 5 with a 1K counter. We love cards that don't brick. And on play... Play up to one four cost or cost four or lower seven warlords of the C type character other than Jinbei from your hand. So seven seven or uh the, the big thing is that it's four cost or lower. It's not strict four cost. You do have to be seven warlords of the C. But because of that, you can play him out. You know what I'm saying? You can play no, you can't play that out. You can play that out. You so you could play out just about any card, uh that's under four, not her, and, and not not them. Okay, not not her, not them. No drinks. Can't do it. Can't do it. No drinks. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, um, outside of that, man, uh, who else we got? Who else we got of notable? I mean, this is going to be MVP. This is such an amazing card. Uh, it's a blocker, four for six. It doesn't have any counter, but, I mean, you're setting up. We've, we talked about this already. You're setting up the top three. Uh, this card, you may return one of your characters to its owner's hands. If your leader has the seven warlords of the seed type, return up to one four cost or lower character to its owner's hand. Um, again, I think we're using that to do that kind of deal. Or four cost or lower, we're just, you know, Law, one thing about Law, he's going to leave you in shambles. He's going to leave your board state in shambles. We're going to put cards back, you know what I mean? 
Uh, okay, so now we got the four for five. Just common. This is just a common ass card. On play, reveal one card from the top of your deck. If that card has the seven Warlords of the Sea type, draw two cards, place one card from your hand onto the top of your deck. <sighs> just drawing, drawing, drawing. As some people say with an L. Uh, great card. Great card for stacking the deck, obviously. And, I mean, bing, bing, draw two cards, stack your card, play another one. When you get to the later rounds, it gets dirty AF. Uh, now we got uh, Dracul Mihawk. Don won, so he's swinging for six. <laughs> he's got his girl with him. Is she drinking that cafe? Uh, Don won, win attacking, draw two cards, trash two cards from your hand. Uh, that's a that's a definite this is like a card it's 2k counter it's dope and it's a card that like once it's out there this card's about to get gone bro they want to get this card off the field immediately because last thing you want anybody doing is cycling through their deck uh, and then we got the gecko moria dog okay so add up to one seven lord seven warlords of the sea or thriller bark pirates type character with a cost of four or less other than gecko from your trash to your hand so we want to ko this card right if we ko one of them i mean if you're going against me if you're going against this delphi we like to ko this card not this card because this card is going to bring that card back matter of fact i should probably put that up to four uh yeah for that reason huh maybe i go down one searcher i don't know we'll figure it out uh i kind of feel like running it as is and then we got the uh, Gravity Blade. This is just a bottom deck, two blockers, essentially two Sabos, two whatevers. We don't really have any cost reduction. So this is just, if it gets a little bit of a nuisance on their end, we're running this card out and we're doing that. Uh, and then Perfume, of La Perfume Femur. You know her Femur would be smelling right. Uh, up to one of your seven Warlords of the C-type character, leader, or character cards gains plus 2,000 power during this turn. Your opponent cannot activate blocker when the selected card attacks. This is their Diable Jamble, if you will. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we keep one just to stay with the shits. But, uh, yeah, this is a card that you end games with for sure. For sure. Because, I mean, that's a Warlord. You, you attach, you do that. It's actually better than Diablo Jamble because that card costs you one and all it does is you get to go through blockers. But this card costs two, yes, but it also gives you plus 2,000. So you're not losing, essentially you're not losing any Don. This, they might as well have made this card a, a zero cost, right? So that's pretty dope. And then it triggers draw one, which is, I guess, why it finds its way in the name, the, 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 the Nami Navy deck. Mommy Nami. Anyhow, so that's the deck profile. Um, I really am thinking about... I think I'm going to do that. I think I will. I think I will. We're going to... I've been noticing that, like, I like the three ratios. That one's, a, that one's a bitch, too. You know what I'm saying? But we'll run this one. What are these? If you have five more cards in your hands, character gains double attack. Holy shit. That's crazy. OPO one that's cool we'll run him we'll go one more on him all right so that's the other thing too i will go over these decks too many times and i'll start doing things i shouldn't do anyhow let's get into these games okay what you miss is i i found marco i chose to go first and now i just played uh don quixote on my second turn and we are going to place cards on top yeah for sure we want to keep these cards um i want to see him for sure and I want to see them next and maybe swing. So next turn, we're going to have five. I'm not going to be able to do my turn. So I'm probably going to do this and this or this and this. But yeah, we like this. We like this. Okay, cool. So we'll keep that like that. And then I'm going to swing five. Oh, uh, we love. One thing I love in this game is getting a 2K. For a fucking five to five swing, man. Whenever they, whenever they got a counter two K over, magnifique. Now he's got nine or eight cards. I'm almost wondering. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was almost wondering about. Uh, do we? We can let's block. Let's block out where we can. 
Because let me tell you, so this deck has big fucking swings that we will not be able to block out of. So let's block where we can. Let's see what they do with a six. Um, do I want to do it like that? Nah, I'm going to swing seven at his ass. Yeah. No, let's play him out. Let's let's put that pressure on him early. Yeah, we want to put that pressure on him early. I was gonna play out uh, Boa Hancock and and be able to swing seven, but I knew he was gonna give me a two K either way. Um, well, then why the fuck didn't I do that? Yeah. Damn it. It's okay. This is this is this is good. We're good. We're good. Okay, seven. Um, I will take. I'm looking for not that card. Let's see what he got. Okay, so right now he's fixing his deck. Um, I mean, that's a great card to play no matter what because you want to know what you're doing with your Marco. Uh, when you're going first, it's especially good because you can set it up so that you get your Sanji and whatever card you want to play. You can play Sanji on curb, you know what I'm saying? Uh, without even using your leader ability. Okay, so uh, he did that to that. That's not chill whatsoever. Uh, we are at seven, which means we can play this. And then we can fix the next three. So now we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do that. And we want to, yes, we want to keep this. We're going to see Kaido right on time, dog. Uh, we're at seven, so we don't need to see Kaido yet. We'll have it like that. All right, cool. And then now I can get one card here. Yes. I'm going to swing seven with this first. See if we can get some cards out of his hand. Cool. And now we're going to do this. And now we're going to swing seven at him. Use card action. What do you know? And now we're going to play. I say we play another Weevil just to put that pressure on him. Because we got two blockers. Give him that pressure. All right, all right. Let's see what he got now. Okay, so... We are going to be big city swinging next turn. How we have them this outpaced right now is beyond me. Here come. I spoke too soon. If he had a Rayleigh, he'd really be busting my board up because he could minus three KO and then minus two and swing. And then oh, he's, he's still doing pretty good. Uh, uh, okay, so I'm not going to. Um, Now nah, let's block that out. Let's block that out. Let's get that value off of Dofi before he just winds up doing shit of shit all for us. Okay, um, let's do what we did last time. Let's play her out again. Let's pretend we don't hear whoever's doing crazy shit outside. Um, so I really like the gem bay here. Uh, obviously, we want to start placing on top. I really like this gem bay here, but. If I use my ability, I'm actually playing over cards at this point, which we know Bueno like to do. So I am going to, I'm going to do it still. No, 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 no. I'll do that. And it's got a cost for it, right? Okay, four or less. Yeah, we could do that. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll, let's do it like that for right now. Um, let's give him a friendly. All right, let's give that guy a seven. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, no, we can play Law out. We can put that back to his hand. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Because I was also thinking about just uh, putting them. Putting them. Huh. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and... Let's do that. Man, I can't think. I'm sorry, I can't think, guys. Select. You may return one. I guess I can return him. And then return that. 
Okay, cool. And then we'll just swing seven. That might have sounded that might have seemed really unproductive. And it may have been. But the way I'm looking at it is we're running out of board space. And I'm trying to just get big city swings. I'm gonna block one of these. I'm gonna play out Kaido, and then I'm their problem. That's how I'm looking at it. So once these get eaten up, I can play this out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like I knew that was about to happen. So now we got 10. We'll go ahead and play this out. And we will pass. We still have four life. They've got no blockers. We do have another law to get rid of whatever. And then we shall swing. Swing, shout is swing. Swing, swing, salading. Ugh. He wants to get rid of everybody. Let's like get rid of a five or less. Yeah, five or less. If he doesn't put out a blocker, it's going to turn into just swinging 10 and then swinging fucking 17. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to get a little hectic. Okay, we got nine. We can block out nine. Let's just, let's just block. Yeah, we can block out nine. Trash. Trash. And... That's a free, that's a free little pick me up there. I don't plan on doing that. Ten, two, three, four. Nah, we'll take that. Okay. I don't think they have it. Um, I was gonna putting them and then bring them down two less cards, but let's do. Let's swing 14 and then 8 plus 5. No, 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 no. Let's swing just 12. 9 plus 5 is 14. So let's swing 13 and 14. Let's see what that does. Okay. I doubt he has 14k. I run that deck. I don't think you're going to have 14 uh, on any given fucking Sunday. Holy shit. Holy shit. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Wow. Tip of the hat, dog. Yo, that was insanity. That means he could have kept all these alive too, easily. Damn, maybe I should have just swung 12 and then 15. I don't know, man. That was crazy. Crazy. We're giving him all the counter now. Like, I don't give a fuck. 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yeah, 7, 8. 9 and 10. Because if one of these ain't a blocker and he doesn't finish me off, then, then I live the fight again. I could swing. I don't think it's going to happen because we only got two cards. And they don't have any, any fucking value. Hopefully he gets distracted and goes for the Kaido, though. If he goes for the Kaido, uh, then Lily, he's going to go for the Kaido. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, come on, dude. You know to go for it. You know to go for it. Yeah, you know to go for it. There's no fucking way. Yeah, he's got that. Oi, oi. That was a great deck, too. That was a great deck. Great build. And we will take. Nice. GG. Um, let's see what he had in here. So it was like more of a, a white beard build. And I win. It was more of a white beard build, Doflamingos. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was a great build. That was a great build. Great game. Um, oh, what else did he have? So he had this left over. So if I would have swung 12, yeah, yeah. He would have met. If he would have took that 12, that would have been the mistake. And then I could have killed him, possibly, depending on if this is the card he drew into. But that was a great game. All right, gang, we're going up against the new pudding that's coming out. Let's see what that pudding does. All right, so I got a lot of fours, and I'm going second. I'm trying to see that Jinbei. I'm getting a little greedy, though. We like seeing that. Um, can't do nothing here, so we'll pass it. That's the other reason why I really like that, um, that uh, <laughs> Blackbeard. I actually hate him. I hate Blackbeard, but one thing he does right... Look at them. What are they going to do with that? Okay, so uh, this first one, I'm feeling a little sauce, but I'll block. I will block. We want to stay healthy. This is a yellow. Yellow does like to, let's see, what may turn top two life cards face up. Add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck is rested. Son of a bitch. How come her fucking shit doesn't go back to the fucking field like, like mine does with black, yellow, Luffy? Okay, let's go ahead and do this, and we're going to activate him, send one card top deck. Okay, so we are going to add, let's do this card, and then give him one and two, and I guess we'll just swing eight at him, and that's going to turn into nine here shortly. They're going to go ahead and block, though, I can guarantee that. And uh, we are going to start placing that on top. Let me tell you. Well, let's do it like that. So we draw into him and then we play him with our ability next turn. And uh, friendly targets, nine. Cool. They take, all right. Hell of a fucking uh, turn two play, by the way. I mean, this card was the reason I was able to do my ability and and cheat this out automatically. I mean, come on, dude. This is that's badass. Okay, so for that, I am going to go ahead and take. I was hoping to see a little Jimby. A little Jimby Juby. Okay, you may flip top quarter life face down up to one dawn. Dude, this deck ramps, dog. What is she's like what is up with that, man? Fucking throw ten calls Luffy in there. Okay, so we know we got Weevil up top. We know this. Uh, we can play this. And then... Yeah, let's play that. Let's play that and see what's up. Okay, so we know we're going to get Weevil. Um, this isn't the other card I thought it was. We can go ahead and... Yeah, let's start placing on top. Sorry. Okay, so... We got a blocker out. We'll do that and then draw onto that. And then we can play that. And then we'll draw that. And then we'll just swing and turn that into something. Okay, cool. Whatever. Money. Okay. We haven't even used this. That's fucking nuts. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm sorry. I'm over here. Bugging around. We will do... That. And choose that and that and then we're gonna go ahead and swing we already got two attached we'll swing here and we're gonna use card action and we're gonna deploy that card and we're gonna bring that card back nice cool and then I'm gonna go ahead and swing again with our blocker believe it or not because I really want to put that pressure now, am I going to give him seven? Let's go ahead and do a search. Because we're really trying to find us a Jimby Doobie. Jimby Juby. Um, we'll go ahead and grab this guy. Nah, we're about to lose some seven warlords. So we'll go do that. And we'll do like that. And then I'm going to seven that and swing. Now, I've heard that if you rush down pudding, you're supposed to just be able to win. Um, if there's any deck that's going to be able to just rush down a deck, it's going to be this one. So we'll see how true that is. Oh, shit. Now, the cool thing is, is that we're already on six. 
uh, and they're already at 10, which means they're ready to start playing Big Mom. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted to see. This is, this is awesome for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and no blocker, and I'm going to give them a 1K. That basically means here comes their 10 mom. Oh, no 10 mom. I'm going to block with this. Maybe they're going to drop a, yeah, Yamato. Oh, yeah, they just, I just saw them with that Yamato. <laughs> okay, so we got eight. We can play this. They can bring that back. And then, yeah, let's do that. Um, let's bring that back. And then let's play this. One, one or more friendly targets. What else do we got down here? Anything else we want? No, let's do the list. Let's do this. Okay. And damn, that is just broke, bro. That is so fucking broken. Okay, so now I'm going to swing seven at the base. Use card action. Deploy that card. And... Do I need another Kaido? There's no way, right? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one does it. Hmm, they got a lot of cards. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's face it like that. I'm crazy. Yeah. And, and then let's go ahead and give it to me. No, let's... Let's... Yeah, let's give it to him. Let him swing as well. Oh, friendly target. Okay. So we'll do six. Yeah, and then we'll just swing five and six and seven. Okay. Or do I want to put a blocker out? Nah, fuck that. Now let's swing five. Now I don't need the fucking pudding. That's okay. Next turn, I'm going to be playing uh, Kaido anyway, so I wasn't going to play, you know. I wasn't going to do none of that. All right. So we get, man, what did I tell you guys? One thing I love is getting swinging five and getting a 2K counter. Now we're going to get another 2K counter. Yeah. Okay. So we got a blocker sideways, which they might want to swing into. We got attacker sideways, which they might want to swing into. Uh, this will probably just get this. Uh, five for five burgers and fries i don't know how i feel about letting that go for cheap i think i want to go ahead and make you invest another swing into that and do that okay we will take that and we will take that and then maybe big mom now yeah big ass mama a big old mama okay and uh for us now we are just going to do this Yes. Now we get a lot of cards. Is that a six? Nice. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use this right here. And I'm going to choose a friendly target, eh? Uh, for right now, I'm not using this for, for anything. So I'll just put this there. And now I can swing seven with this card if nothing else. Okay, so I'm going to swing five and seven. We know that they were giving us two Ks when we last left off. So let's see what that does. Okay. And let's see what this does. If they were giving us two Ks for those swings, I'm, I'm trying to think like, should I just swing into this or let's, let's just get them out of here? Yeah. Okay. So now we're set up in another familiar position where we're looking to get fucked like we did against the Marco match. Um, I could play this out and then swing big. That would be cool. I will go ahead and block with this, though. I'm gonna counter there. Yeah, they're getting some big boy swings. Is there about to play another one? Um, that's seven. That's eight. Yeah, let's block what we can. Let's block what we can for sure. So we know the nine's coming. We're going to take that nine. Uh, what is this? Draw a card? Nah, nah. Yeah. Do they got a blocker? Another card ain't going to make a difference. 
But if we got to swing through a blocker, that will. Wow. Fuck me. Um. Hmm. We're not going to do anything with that. No. Yes, yes. Okay. So I have got to beef up one of these boys. Get these boys beefy, boys. And then... Leaders or cards? Okay. Hmm. They only do it for rested. Trying to think. So there's a play here. It just evades me. The play is, if I play this out, I can put two and two and then swing nine. Well, I could put two swing for seven. Maybe they take, right? And then I can put two, which makes it five. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll just I'll just go for it. Let's just see what that's about. Okay. So now I am going to do this. This. One, two. Cool. Now I am going to do swinging seven. I'm going to add... If I if I do that, they go down to five cards. And then what? And then and then I got four left. And then you make me nine. And then I make you seven. Eight. Hmm. Maybe I swing with eight first. Yeah, let's do that. No. No, let's do this. Okay, so now I am going to swing, let's swing eight here, or nine, and then you're, no, 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 because you're going to get three, that makes you six, seven, eight, and then she's going to make you nine. Yeah, it's going to work. Use card action, deploy card. Uh, we're going to just deploy it over here, and... It doesn't make a difference. And cool. And I'm going to give it to you. And blocker setup. Cool. Now I am going to send one card to the top of the deck. I'm using so much fucking brain power, dude. God bless. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Five. That's eight. You got to be able to block an eight, dog. No eight. No eight. Don't do it. You son of a fucking bitch. Damn it. God bless. We gave it all we had, gang. We gave it all we had. Yeah. Yeah. If they didn't have eight, I was thinking they're not going to have 12. Perhaps I should have just... Well, we still used all the rest of Dawn, though. We literally did use all the rest of Dawn, right? So, like, yeah, uh, that's gone. That's gone. Uh, now they're just styling on me. Yeah. Y yeah. Yeah, you got it, dog. You got it. GG. Um, okay, so... This has been a great episode of Watch Me Get Bopped. You know, um... I'm thinking Doki Doflamingo. Uh, I'm thinking that you know this is the deck. This is the this was the future. This was gonna be it. Uh, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know. <laughs> you do go wide. You do fuck people up. But it seems like against the decks that are able to get those bigger units out you're running four fives to their nines and tens and it just doesn't work out in your favor uh getting kaido out was great it kaido i feel like is a must in this uh deck because you gotta be able to put some kind of big body on the board but uh in these last two matches i'll definitely have to go back and watch the tape but uh perhaps that's why there was so much removal that i didn't have uh, you know what? I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to do that. Let's get the removal in here real quick. 
So we picked first. We're going against uh, Calgara, who I hear is a kind of like us a little bit. They go wide as well. I really want the... I saw that we had the Gravity Blade, but I really want the Jinbei uh, combo as soon as possible. So we're going for that. We still got a Red Rock if they go big. I don't know what they would go big with. So put a character with Chandelier and well, Chandelier. Okay, type from your hand into play. I can't do nothing yet. Um... With a cost equal to or less than the number of Dawn you control. What? Then if you played a card, put the top card of your life into your hand. Okay. That makes it fair. No, no, that makes it fair. That makes it fair. All right, so it's my turn again. Uh, We have no way to, to fix our deck right now, but we're going to go ahead and just swing and see anyways. Hey, we like it. Uh, we can't do a friendly target, and so we don't get to do shit. But a free card's a free card. We'll take it. Now, since their ability utilizes their life, I wonder how frivolously they like to use it. And I have heard people winning with Calgara, you know? Uh, I just think Calgara is like the, like, the distractor deck of, of this meta. And that I mean... It's, I doubt that Calgara is going to be getting uh, support, you know, two sets from now. You know what I'm saying? Like, or even next set in, 08, in 09. I doubt it's, you know what I mean? I think it's just a one and done kind of deal. Uh, even with like uh, Vegapunk, like, I think Vegapunk is a great deck. I think it's got a, I think it's got such the cool fucking, you know, um, setup, but I just don't know that it's, does it really you know see any life after, outside of us okay so can we play this give us one give us one and then we have another one left over we sure fucking can so we're gonna do that wow that's amazing so we're gonna do that uh we will start placing on top yeah we'll start well that way we can get two of them out here cool and then give that to that no, I was dead fucking wrong. I don't know math. I don't know who I am. All right, so let's swing six and six on Fox 26. And uh, let's see what we can uh, get a little 2K action. Get some cards out or get some life out. Now, the reason I'm not swinging for the Magic 7 is because if I swing the Magic 7, I'm just swinging a born ass five. And while that does require a card, if they want to get rid of, if they want to get out of either one of these blocks, they would have to come out of cards versus, you know what I'm saying? Like if all they had was 1Ks, you're going to have to get out of two 1Ks or 2K. You're going to have to have two 2Ks essentially. So, and we want cards out of their hand because cards out of their hands means characters off the field. Let's see. So we got this removal. We don't really care about that. I probably should have looked for looked for Gravity Blade in this match because I could have Gravity Bladed both of these already next turn. Um, say la vie. Um, I'm gonna no blocker and I'm gonna I'm gonna fight the keep. I'm gonna fight for my right to party. You can swing seven, and I will let you have it for seven. Yeah, that's, I was down for that, but like I wanted you to get two swings just to remove one card, and then I should be back to business after that. Holy shit, five for seven? Oh, that's an 06 card. Yeah, I saw that the other day. Moen's got the Kale Tech. That's what I got. Uh, you may return one cost, one stage to the bottom of its owner's deck. Look at the top five cards. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let him go now. Man, yeah, Gravity Blade on that, and that would be grizzly. Um, okay, so I thought I was getting the other guys. That's weird. So I'll go ahead and just go for this. Because now we can definitely do our shit. So that to that. Um, and damn, I really do need a Gravity Blade. So we'll go ahead and start placing it on top and I will do that. Yes. And give it to me. Give it to me. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swing seven just to get that just to get that uh, push on him. And we're gonna go for life because we plan it. We'll we'll get rid of these in time. We're not worried about that right now. We just want to get cards out of their hand. And we do have a blocker. We're about to get another blocker. Okay. Let's see you do it again, pal. Deploy that card, daddy. Start placing on top. Yes. And this will be the card we draw into. Uh, it's a little funky, but I really just want that gravity blade to get rid of his board. Okay, now we're now we're seeing the cards. Now we're seeing the cards. So we got two blockers sideways and one blocker standing up, and that is grounds for a hey, let's fucking get these blockers out of here. <clears throat> and that now, see against a deck like this where they're trying to do the same thing I'm doing, and they are successfully doing it. I mean, they are actually flooding the board. And, you know, able to swing and shit like that. I, yeah, I'm the king of that. I feel like Dofi's the king of that. Because I don't think they've missed a turn. But I'm just able to do it better. However, that pudding deck was, was dope. I don't see how pudding is getting just, like, wipes. Like, I don't understand, like... So you gotta show the top two cards of your deck. Like, who gives a shit? Then you Viola, you got a deck. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a Dawn already. So just like I said, they see the blocker sideways... Uh, also, they only got one life, right? So they're definitely trying to clean up the board. Um, no blocker. Yeah, we're going to let that go. And then we'll take two hits if we have to. Um, and then I will gravity blade this one and this one since that goes up to six. What does that do? Then place one of the remaining cards in the bottom. Oh, it's just a searcher, but for your... Oh, because he's got stuff like remove it and then, or some, but this guy had it. Okay, so that's a free block, but then we'll get rid of that. So we're going to go ahead and take it. Um, there is a world where they swing into here. So let's go ahead and take that. Whatever, we're luring him into a false sense of security because whatever he plays, if it's a blocker. Um, what? If your leader, blah, 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 and you have Calgary character and play out up to one card from the top of your deck to your life. Yowza. Okay, and he's a 6k. So we're going to get rid of these two because we don't even want to see him if he has a way to bring it back. So next turn is nine. We'll be able to swing something and uh, get rid of something. We'll get rid of the six and the seven, and then we'll swing uh, seven in there. Calgara, 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 Calgara. Ah. Uh. Yeah. That's crazy. All right. Well, um, I mean, there you have it. I, I feel like I was able to do what I wanted to do. However, just not one of those where you're just able to just like, oh, everything worked out for me. Like in my other videos, you know what I mean? It's like everything worked out for me and I just win because I'm the greatest player in the world. It wasn't that. It wasn't that at all. Is this our deck list? We're only running one of this guy? What the fuck? Anyhow, um, so there you see. Uh, oh, this was the one that they ran. You know, okay, cool. Uh, it was looking a little dicey there, especially if they were able to put another life back. But I would have been able to swing and bottom deck. We'll see what's up. But <sighs> this might be the list, you know. Uh, and I did, was getting bodied by players running bigger um, characters so those gum gum red rocks are probably coming into play for sure actually absolutely because i remove a big body like uh against the sanji i would have removed the uh new gate for six and then i would have swung seven uh plus my leader ability i could have swung eight you know what i mean plus my leader ability 
and that would have been that. So maybe that is the wave and I'm missing it. So we'll have to revisit this one. But for right now, um, the deck I was running is not it. And we will see about this one. Uh, anyways, uh, do remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? What would you be doing differently? And definitely uh, let me know what you think about this deck list. And uh, what, what are you running in your Dofi? I know there's some Dofi guys out there. And I do believe in the deck. Um, the deck I built was getting fucking smashed. So anyhow, I will catch you guys in the next one. And uh, this has been Marauder Music with Three Piece TCG. Big Beard TCG. Flows like a faucet, swag dripping like a faucet. Dooney fixing, got Luffy ambition. King of the rappers, the mission. I see they got the lights, camera, but no action. They actually fiction.